Howdy, Beerflower Bart here, and welcome back. And we're gonna roll into the fifth video. And this one, I said I wanted to create a an escape menu. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go into our test map. So then when we hit play, it'll just go right into it, and we can actually jump around and play around. So we want to hit our escape button, and it will give us a little mini menu. So again, we want to start off with go into our widgets folder, and we want to go into user interface and widgets blueprint. And we're going to call this escape underscore menu underscore w. So we know it's our escape menu widget. Inside there, all we really need, and we're going to add a little bit more functionality to this. We're going to go to our panel. We only need two buttons. So we want a vertical box, and we're going to throw that in here. And then inside that vertical box, we're going to need a button and our button needs text. So our first button, we see that it's not fitting correctly. So again, we need to make sure our button is selected. Um, but we want to make our vertical box. Let's go ahead and make that bigger. And let's go ahead and make that 250 by 40 for now is not going to work. So we want to make this a lot bigger. We just want to get it there. And this button we want to call exit button. And our text we want to say main menu. Again, this is just plain and simple. We're not going to get a whole lot of functionality into it. We're going to get functionality, but we're not going to do a whole lot of styling just yet want to get more of our buttons done and then create a unified system of making all of them match across the board. So we have our main menu button, lovely, and we want to copy and paste another version inside that vertical box as well. And we want it to be called resume underscore button. And our text we want to say Resume game. Now we don't really want them bunched up together like that. Now there's a couple ways we can do that. We can add a spacer in, which we got just a little bit of space to it. Uh, we could also tell it to, you know, if we click on the actual vertical box, you know, we see that we got all this room to work with. And we could make this a unified size of 100. Let's make it a little bit bigger for now. And let's just go ahead and show you the method of actually adding in a, uh, let's see, I always forget what it's called. Spacer. Well, I know what it's called, but We'll go ahead and add that to the vertical box, and then we'll drag this in between those two. And now we have our spacer, and our size, we can make that 20 to give us a little bit of a gap. Let's actually go with, yeah, whatever, 50 looks good for now. Let me look at a vertical box, and let's go ahead and call this. Yeah, 150. Doesn't matter, we have a little bit of extra on the bottom here. We want to go ahead and anchor this to the center of the screen. However, you can see it's not going to put it dead center. And again, if we just do zero on our spacing, it's just not going to work. So what we need to do is we know that it's 250 by 150. So we can actually do half of 250 on the X position, which is going to be negative 125 and then half of 150 um, well I don't normally go with that anyway I usually go with negative 300 now there's a reason why I go with negative 300 puts a little higher on the screen and also when I'm doing other things which we'll see later I like to put it up a little bit higher so that you can actually see it 
because if it's right there on top of your character you may not be able to read it as well so we now have that and let's go ahead and add some functionality to, uh, functionality to the buttons the unclicked for main menu and again we don't need these guys here um, with our on clicked for the exit button we need it to go back to our main menu so what we need to do is we want to open a level now we know it's called main menu map but let's go ahead and just control C to copy it in there and paste it in so now what's gonna happen when we click on the exit button it's gonna load back into the main menu map alright so now we have our resume button we can just click on it from here scroll down on clicked on a resume we need to get rid of that menu so here's where it can be interesting but remove from parent so this is going to tell it to pretty much just go away um, we're going to compile and save we need to make sure that we have a mouse cursor when this happens so let's actually try doing event begin play again which we cannot put in here um, so we're going to actually have to do this in the player character. So let's go into our player character blueprint. And we want to... Hmm. We're going to probably end up having to put this off of our hunger, our event tick. So let's actually come in here and... Not going to create a custom event. We're going to actually trigger this off of the escape key. So what we need to do is click on Edit, Project Settings, and Input. We need to do another Action Mapping and hit the plus key. And we're going to call this Escape Menu. And we want this to be activated off of, huh, what key do we want that to be off of? Anyway, so when we hit the escape key, um, now we can right click in here and we want escape menu. So when we hit the escape menu, hit the escape key, now there was another way I could have done this, and I could have done this on a flip flop, but I'm not going to off of this particular one. So when we press the escape key, then we want to create a widget and we want that to be the escape menu widget we're going to need our player controller and we're going to need to actually add to viewport we need to set input to UI only widget to focus and target and then we need to show our mouse cursor so when we hit the escape key it is going to create the widget put in our viewport set our mode to UI only and it's going to give us the mouse cursor I know we're gonna have a problem here but I'm gonna do it anyway so what happens is if you try to play this in the original viewport you get escape guess what it's going to end anyway so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to select here either simulate or standalone game I'm going to run for now I'm going to run standalone game 
so that we have an actual extra window that we can actually we're not limited by the the escape key closing it automatically so we can manually hit the escape key inside there and see if it functions the way we want to I know we're gonna have an issue here but I just wanted to, to demonstrate that we're on the right path here so now we're in our new window we can run around yay we're happy hit escape and uh oh what happened it instantly went right back to the main menu so we hit single player again huh so we're gonna go ahead and hit exit game and close it out we at least know the exit button works so we need to find out what's going on with this we know that we need to get it to show that menu when we hit the escape key but when we hit escape it's going directly into the main menu so let's actually go back map wise to our main menu map let's make sure everything is saved but now we want to play it from here let it do its thing don't want me hitting my crack pipe while we're uh, waiting for things to load here alright so we've got our lovely menu here I'm gonna hit single player it's gonna load the map everything is lovely get escape and we still have an issue so back to troubleshooting input action escape menu pressed we're looking good here but look what we did I told it to go back to the <laughs> the main menu so very simple mistake and that's what happens when we start overlooking things trying to get too much of a rush and yeah you can make dumb errors so let's go ahead and try this one more time and this should get our escape menu back up still gonna have one more error though that I know that's gonna happen so once this loads up we're in our menu and we can hit on single player go in here we hit escape and now we have this we hit resume game this was the error that I was talking about you're not gonna get rid of your mouse cursor because I forgot to do that and now you won't be able to reset it so you're stuck so the problem is when you look at your escape menu when you remove from parent it's not getting rid of the other stuff and setting your game mode back and that kind of thing so let's go ahead and I know we're gonna have to set our input to game mode only and we know that our target is gonna be our get our player controller from here we also need to turn off our mouse cursor and let's see if that makes a difference all right so again we'll go ahead and click on play and again doing multiple things at a time while I'm waiting for that to kick in there we go I'm gonna go into single player game runs we hit escape comes in we can go back to the main menu go to play again and let's see what happens when we hit our resume game our mouse cursor goes away and we're back to playing again so everything works just the way it needs to so we now have an escape menu with functionality that we can reuse over and over again so 
hopefully this helps you to um, get organized and get set up to have your escape menu, your main menu, and have a little bit of functionality to your game. And in the next video, we'll take it on from there. All right. Thanks for watching.